Hi, um, welcome to another Fit to Serve virtual workout. Um, my name is Tuli Turner. Today we are going to do my favorite workout, which is, if you've worked out with me before, it's core. All right, it's gonna be uh, about 10 minutes. We're gonna have a little warm up. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Um, you know, I always say that this is your workout, not mine. I'm just facilitating, I'm just a vessel. So you go at your own pace. The most important thing we exercise every time we get together is um, wisdom and discernment. So make sure that you uh, open your ears up, open your spirits up, and, um, and really pay attention to um, what the Holy Spirit is, is, is telling you to do specifically as it regards to your body. Um, and if you have worked out with us before, welcome back. I miss you, I love you, and I can't wait to fellowship together in person um, once again. Um, I know that this is, uh, this is unprecedented times, but you know what, um, you know, the, the word is still true and, uh, and we still keep moving forward. So I'm gonna open us up in prayer I'm going to do a short little warm up and then we'll do 10 uh, series of exercises. We'll have a short break in between each of them and I'll walk you through your options. So remember, um, go at your own pace. Uh, it's all timed. You know, we're not counting. We're not trying to catch up with anybody or, you know, we're just trying to continue to be fit to serve. So um, join me in prayer and uh, we'll get started. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we just thank you. Um, we just thank you for your, your blood and your sacrifice, Father, and we thank you for allowing us to, um, to, to fellowship and worship together in a new way, Lord Jesus. And we, uh, we stand on your word that we're one or, or two, two or more gathered, that you are in the midst. And right now it's me and whoever it is that's listening um, to my voice. You know, we, uh, we thank you for being in our midst. And we, uh, we pray that uh, you give us ears to hear, eyes to see, and uh, warm hearts, soft hearts to receive what it is that you have for us, not just for our physical bodies, Father God, but for our spirit man, for our um, emotional and mental well-being. We just thank you for always providing abundantly. And we pray that in uh, this uh, next moment of time together, we exercise wisdom and discernment which is the most important thing, and that, um, and that you continue to, uh, to pour down your abundance upon us. And we uh, ask that you help us to see each other through the eyes of Jesus, and that uh, you teach us to, to continue to, to love one another um, as you love us. We thank you, we honor you, we bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with the March in Place. Okay, now today, I apologize for not telling you ahead of time, but you'll need a chair, all right? Now, none of our workouts are gonna be on the mat. I know you probably see a mat in the, uh, in the shot here, and the mat is there because my floor is a little slippery. Um, so, safety first, okay? Now, we're just getting warmed up. We never wanna start cold, all right? So we're just gonna march in place. You might wanna march a little faster. You might even wanna take it to a jog. Okay, I'm gonna stay right here with the march in place. Now again, a couple of words about core. Core is not just the front, okay? When we think core, we automatically think six pack. I promise you there's a six pack in there, but let's not forget the opposite side, which is our lower back, okay? Everything comes from our core, all right? You gotta have a strong core. It uh, keeps everything together, helps us with stability. Um, so it's very important that uh, that we keep it strong. Okay, so what I want you to do is take into your consciousness everything in the middle. So bring it, all of your being into right here. All right, keep that core nice and tight. Keep it sucked in, engage those muscles. And we're gonna do a side to side twist, okay? You ready? Feet a little bit wider than the shoulder. And we're gonna go side to side, just like this. Very intentional, soft knees, soft ankles, okay? So the movement comes from right here. You're wringing your middle out just like a towel, okay? So very intentional, little bounce, okay? All right, stay here just for a couple more seconds, and then we're gonna do an upreach, okay? Ready, side to side, up. All right, have a little bounce in those feet and those legs. 
Good job. Have a little fun with it, okay? And because this is a virtual workout, you can pause. You can do this video twice if you want. All right, okay. You ready to get started? Remember, we have 10. First one's gonna be standing O's or standing crunches, okay? Hands like this. And what you wanna do is you wanna bring that leg up, okay? Nice and slow, just like this, okay? Now, if you, the arms are just there as a point of contact, okay? All right, because the actual motion is your shoulders coming down to meet your knees. Core stays engaged. Good job. 15 more seconds, all right? Excellent. Doing good. Five, two, all right. Next one is elbow to knee. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Okay, put your hands right behind your head here as a point of contact. Other one on your hips. All right, here we go. Full extension, Woo! keep your balance. Okay, full extension, so stretch all the way out and bring that elbow to knee, okay? You might just have to go this far, and that's okay, all right? You're, uh, think of this time as a time for you to relearn your body, get reacquainted with it, all right? It does so much for us every day, carrying us around, okay? So, just a point of contact here. Don't jerk on your neck. Don't pull your head. You never want to force it, okay? So remember what we're working, we're working the core. Almost done with this side. All right, shake it out. You gotta do the other side, okay? Can't be lopsided. Okay, ready? Two, one, and good job. Now, again, make sure you break as you have to. If you have to break, that's okay. Take your break and come right back with us. Good job. Getting that core warmed up. Now, very closely related to our core are our hip flexors. You're working those by doing this as well, okay? And those are those little rubber bands that, you know, hold our, our legs and our hip sockets. Very important. So, just keep that in mind. All right, now we're gonna get the chair. Okay, we're gonna do some seated flutter kicks. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of options. Sit down in a nice hard back chair, stick your legs out, and you're just gonna flutter just like this. Now, my back is not on the back of the chair, okay? But if you have to, that is your option. Lean back and just rest gently, okay? Just enough to, you know, have your core still be engaged and flutter. Now, maybe you need something in between the leaning back and the no back, right? You can do this, okay? So one at a time, all right? Wherever you are, okay, so, so just remember, you're doing more today than you did yesterday. You're doing great. Good job, all right. So we're gonna stay in the seat again. This time, we're gonna bring our knees in one at a time, okay? You can lean on the back if you have to. Looks just like this, okay? Now you see my heels are resting on the ground, okay? If you'd like, you can bring your heels up, okay? Obviously, this is a more advanced move, okay? Really engages that entire core, okay? But if you're just joining us, start with the heels on the ground. And you might even need to give yourself a little help, all right? Just like the body of Christ helps one another, look, our body will help itself too, all right? So you can help yourself along, it's okay. This works that pesky lower ab area. You can do doubles. I'm giving you a preview because that's the very last exercise we're doing. All right, for this next one, we're gonna stay seated, but I'm gonna turn the chair facing you. Once you sit up nice and tall, okay, shoulders back, and I just want you to reach down, 
This is a very small movement, okay? Very important that you sit straight up. Your back is straight, okay? Feet a little, little wider for balance and stability. And we're just doing one side, all right? It's a very small movement, but all you're doing is you're dropping your shoulder down and you're doing a little side crunch, okay? Good job. 15 seconds, all right? And you know we gotta do the other side. All right, 10. You're doing good. Good job. And again, you have full authority. Rest to, to pause the video as you have to. Something that we don't have the luxury of doing when we're together, all right? Other side, same thing, okay? Shoulders back. So when you start, you wanna make sure that your posture is nice and straight. Down and up. Good job. You're doing great. Just hang in there. Remember, it's, it's the you yesterday and the you tomorrow. That's what you're bridging, all right? That's the gap. You're doing excellent. All right, you got about five more seconds, and then we're gonna go back to that very first exercise, okay? Those standing crunches, okay, you ready? Now, don't put that chair too far, all right? So we're gonna need it for the last, the last two exercises, okay? All right, those standing crunches. Now remember, your core is nice and warmed up now. You might be able to do these a little faster, but Fast is not the key when you're doing core. It's controlled movements, okay? You never want to use momentum because that takes away from the work that you're asking your core to do, okay? So control the movement, full range. Control it up and control it down, all right? You're doing good, all right? Great job, 10 more seconds. Three, ooh, balance. <laughs> okay, seated flutters, our favorite. Remember your options, I'll show them to you again. Easy option, laid back, this way, okay. Next one, this way. Most advanced option is this. You're doing great. Guess what, this is the ninth one. So we only have one more after this, and then we'll get to do a little stretching, and then we're done, you're done. Ain't it great? You're doing great. Keep it up. Good job. Two, one, all right. For the last one, Gave you guys a little preview, but it's double B in, okay? So you wanna bring both your legs in like this. This is your, now go ahead and get started. This is your easiest one. If you can't, you can do it one leg at a time, okay? You can get, take it off the back and do it this way, all right? Resting your heels on the ground after every, every repeat. Okay, obviously the most difficult one is to bring your heels up, in and out. Okay, in and out. Now, you can also go back to doing these one at a time. Okay, it works the same thing. This is a more advanced movement, so be very careful. And we're done. Congratulations. Good job, we did it. We're going to stretch out a little bit. <sighs> Man, that was fast. You guys did a great job. Hands to the ceiling, reach up. <sighs> Continue to take nice, big, deep breaths to encourage that heart rate to come down. <sighs> Drop that one arm and just tilt over to the side a bit. Now, don't just let your core hang out, all right? 
Still keep it engaged, keep it nice and tight. Use it to bring yourself back to center. Other side. You gotta give yourselves a nice big hug. You did a great job. All right, back to center. I'm gonna step to the side a little bit so you can see. I want you to bend like this. Okay, keep those knees behind your toes. Hands on your thighs right here. And I want you to just round your back and arch your back. All right, round your back and arch your back. Now you can do this on the ground on all fours. I just wanted to give you a couple of options to work with. All right, nice big deep breaths. Take it in. Give me two more. Last one. And you're done. Congratulations. I love you. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day.